we wondered whether people judge hurricane risks in the context of gender-based expectations. We know from lots of other research that uh, implicit biases about gender routinely affect the way actual men and women are judged in society, but we wondered whether it would actually impact the way people responded to hurricanes and judged their likely severity. So we used more than six decades of death rates from U.S. hurricanes to show that severe hurricanes that have feminine names cause significantly more deaths than do severe hurricanes with masculine names. We wondered why that might be, so we examined um, this further in a number of laboratory experiments that suggested that this is because hurricane names lead to gender-based expectations about their severity. And this, in turn, guides people's preparedness to take protective action. So basically, a storm named Isabel just doesn't sound as dangerous as a storm named Ivan. And as a result, people may not be as motivated to take shelter.